Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15 beta. So we're currently on beta 2 and I know a ton of people are disappointed with the release of the beta of iOS 15 because we didn't get any like huge new features, at least most people think there are not like many good features on iOS 15, but in my opinion, there are some really, really good new features that will actually change the way you use your iPhone and you will probably use them on daily basis and will actually be very, very helpful. So in this video, I will show you guys some amazing hidden features that you will find on your iPhone running iOS 15 currently on beta 2 that are amazing and of course will make your life easier and change everything about how you use your iPhone on daily basis. Now, before we get into those features, make sure to smash the like button of this video. That helps out a lot and of course makes this video do much, much better. All right, first of all, we're going to the clock app and to the alarm section. So on iOS 14, you wanna edit an alarm. What you need to do, tap on the edit button, tap here and go ahead and edit your alarm. On iOS 15, all you have to do is just tap the alarm and you're right away on the editing section of that alarm. You probably have PDF files on your files app on your iPhone. Now, most of them are of course important to you and some of them might even contain information that you need to keep secret. Well, on iOS 15, you just open a PDF file, tap that little share button and you will be able to actually lock your PDF files with a passcode. So we can enter a passcode here and of course verify the passcode here and now that PDF file has been locked with a passcode as easy as that. Now, this of course allows us to just open it by entering the passcode from here. Of course, trying to move from one iPhone to another sometimes might get very annoying if you have a lot of data. Well, iOS 15 will help you a lot on that section. So you go to settings, go to general and go to reset and you will have here prepare for new iPhone. Now, if you tap here, you can see what it pops up. It allows to have extra iCloud storage to move your apps and your data. So basically you will get a temporary storage for free on iCloud with iOS 15 so that you can move all of your data and then of course move them back to your new iPhone. This will be very, very helpful and of course will make this process a lot easier for most people. On iOS 15, your device will recognize pictures and will even recognize what's on those pictures. You can see this picture right here of the Empire State Building on New York. Now, if I just go ahead and tap this little I button, you can see it shows like a location icon. If I tap on it, it will show me the exact location of the building in the picture. You can see how cool that is. It shows you the Siri knowledge, it shows you maps, and even shows similar images of that building from the web. So basically everything you need to know about any object that you might have taken a picture of or just say from the internet, iOS 15 will find that for you. Now this one right here is pretty awesome. This is a picture I took from iOS beta on Reddit. And of course you have the user that has posted it right here. Basically the activation lock on iOS 15 will show as the first thing once you have restored a device that is locked under an iCloud account. So if someone gets one of your devices and try to restore them, automatically they will be presented with this screen rather than letting them try to actually go through the setup and all that process. If they will show here, of course, the screen and will show here the hint of the email to which this device is locked. If you've seen the keynote of iOS 15, you probably know about the new share play feature of iOS 15 that has been enabled with the second beta, but it also has enabled share screen. So basically this feature allows to share the screen with someone from your device to another device using FaceTime. Now here I'm on a call here with my iPad and I can just go to my iPad and tap that button right there and share the screen of my iPad with someone and you can see right here, this is the screen that it will show, which is actually really, really awesome. So if I just go ahead and move to the home screen here on my iPad, you will notice the screen of my iPad, how cool that is. Everything can be shared directly from here. So if you anytime need to share the screen of your device with someone to actually let them know about something or just like do like an introduction of something, you can do that now with 
FaceTime and of course the share screen feature on iOS 15. This is an amazing feature and of course will make life easier for a lot of people. On our iPhones we take screenshots all the time. Now the best thing is to organize them of course into different folders or albums and know of course which screenshots we have where and of course it will be much much easier to find them when we need to use them well with ios 15 all you have to do is just take a screenshot in this case i take a screenshot of my home screen and i can just drag the screenshot open the photos app and just basically place this on any album that i want as easy as that just by dragging and just placing it anywhere i want on iOS 15 we of course have also the live text feature that's amazing as well and now when you take a screenshot you will be presented with this screen right here so it says crop scale or select text and basically allows us to select the text that's on that screenshot directly from there so if you just need to take like a part of a text from a screenshot you can do it directly from the editor here without having to save that screenshot at all so I can just go ahead select this text copy it here and just go ahead and delete that screenshot and not just have a ton of screenshots sitting there on the photos album of my device iOS 15 makes it now very very easy for you to share things and that using Siri now right here I'm taking a look at this wallpaper I want to share it with someone all I have to do is just bring up Siri of course I can use the magic word but I don't want to do that here in the video I will just press the button right there and ask Siri to share this share this with test X and just like that, I will be able to quickly send this as a message. As you can see right there, just tap the send button and you're good to go. That will be sent as an iMessage. When you go to the contacts card of any of your contacts on your device, now you will notice right here it says video. It used to say FaceTime, but now it says video because if you tap on it, it will show you all the different options that you have, of course, for that contact. Now, for this case, I can contact this this person right here on telegram viber or whatsapp all the different options that i have of course i can do all of them directly from here from the contacts menu on ios 15 you will also find a totally new lookup menu now on lookup it's used just to show you the dictionary now if i tap lookup right there you can see it shows the dictionary but it will also show you other options like the app store you have like apps there you have suggested from siri right here for websites you have siri knowledge sports as well and of course you can manage your dictionaries from here or just go ahead and search for that word on the web now while you're on safari you have the address bar now at the bottom what you can do to quickly share this website is just three the touch on the address bar now this allows you to quickly share the website from here or just add it to the reading list you will have this menu right here that of course allows you also to paste and search so if you have something else copy it you can just paste and search directly from here that of course makes it very very easy for you to navigate through sites and also share different websites directly from here now i know a lot of people dislike the new safari i don't like it that much neither but it has some really really awesome features and one of those cool features is the new grid view that you get on your tabs. Now what you can do here is easily rearrange your tabs simply by dragging them and just placing them anywhere you want. Or if you just want to close all the tabs but want to keep one open, one that you need, all you gotta do is just sweep the touch the one that you want and just tap close the other tabs. That way you will only have left the tab that you really need, all the other ones will be closed together. And of course, one of the biggest and most underrated features of iOS 15, going to your Apple ID, go to find my, go to find my iPhone, you enable all of these and basically this will let you also find your iPhone if you lost it or it's stolen, even though it might be turned off. You enable find my network and you can see what it says there. This will locate your iPhone even when it's offline power in reserve mode or after powered off so even your device might be powered off totally you will still be able to find your device if of course it is running ios 15. notes on ios 15 have tags and the good thing is that you can easily find them 
even from the spotlight search and you can even do that from the lock screen now the spotlight search on lock screen that's a big other feature now just swipe here and you will be able to actually go to the spotlight search and search for anything you want without having to go to the home screen first and that's a big new feature that i really like and i think is very very helpful and you probably will use it on daily basis now when trying to find notes all you gotta do is just use the hashtag of course you will be able to search for any note now once you place the hashtag there you can see notes comes up first and it shows you all the different tags you have on your notes app and you will be able to search using them directly from here now, a lot of people have been complaining about the home screen pages feature on ios 15 not being able to delete them or rearrange them well ios 15 fixes that you will be able to actually rearrange your pages and once that you have disabled once you disable one of them you can see you have this little button right there that allows to completely remove that page without having to go and individually remove the apps from the home screen that's a big help of course all the apps are automatically moved to the app library and something that i've seen that works really good is suggested widgets on ios 15 and it's really accurate so on a stack of widgets you have you go to edit stack and you enable widget suggestions right here now this will allow siri to suggest different widgets for your device based on your location or based on the time of the day and what apps you use during that time you will see through the day different widgets that will be suggested to you and that of course is also very very helpful moving on to the ipad os 15 we have some really cool features here as well the ability to create a quick note now when apple presented this they used the apple pencil but you can do that now without the apple pencil just swipe from the corner of the device and you will be able to actually do that just swipe like this and you're good to go from anywhere on your ipad you can take a note and that is coming also to the iphone we have indications from the share sheet that that will come to the iphone and it will be a big new feature as well now the cool thing is of course the new home screen widgets on the ipad you can now place them anywhere on the home screen and you can have different layouts like you can see how i have them set up right here when i go to the portrait mode and on the landscape mode it will be a totally different thing so you can add edit them and change the place that will be on the landscape mode and on the portrait mode so that is it for this video guys hopefully you like the video and you like these hidden features that you will find on ios 15 which in my opinion is quite a good update and not as bad as everyone thinks i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe for more ios 15 videos and i'll see you on the next one